Hello everyone, today I will show you a 2022 drama comedy movie titled The Woman Who Was Kept on a Shelf. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. Amelia is a six-year-old girl who, who just like any kid, wants to play and have fun. However, her mother doesn't want her to waste time on these things. Amelia is often forced to participate in beauty pageants and other fashion shows. This selfish mother mentions that if she has to choose between her daughter's intelligence and beauty, she always chooses the latter. The little girl also starts to believe her mom is right, so she dreams of becoming a fashion model. Years pass and Amelia realizes her dream. She's now a world-class supermodel. Hundreds of fanatical fans flock to her shows to see her grace. However, despite the lavish nature of her profession, Amelia also feels bored and lonely. This is because she's always surrounded by annoying paparazzi, friends who only care about her status, and the rich who treat her as a commodity. So one day, when she meets a considerate and handsome guy named Harry, she falls in love with him immediately. Harry is a real estate businessman who has accumulated millions of dollars in his career. Despite being wealthy, he is a passionate lover who treats Amelia like a princess, always making her feel needed. Their romantic relationship quickly evolves into a serious one, and Amelia moves into the millionaire's mansion. In the initial weeks, everything goes well, and Amelia experiences the happiest moments of her life. She sometimes doubts if she's in a fairy tale. Everything around her is perfect. However, one morning, her fairy tale world suddenly starts to crumble. Amelia wakes up to a loud noise, and as she heads to Harry's room, she finds Harry assembling a large shelf on the wall. Confused, Amelia asks what's going on, to which Harry responds that he's making this shelf for her. Thinking that it's for her massive collection of shoes, Amelia happily thanks him, but Harry reveals that it's not for the shoes, it's for her. Harry mentions he doesn't want to take his eyes off such a beautiful thing. Moreover, he believes this will also increase his work efficiency. Hearing all this, Amelia is a bit perplexed and hesitates whether to comply. Being a supermodel, she has to travel the world and constantly engage in important interviews. However, Harry explains that an extraordinary girl like her doesn't need to lead an ordinary life. She should quit her job and stay in this room with him, gazing at him from the shelf. Harry promises to take care of her in the best way, buy her expensive clothes, and feed her delicious meals. He also swears to worship her before heading to work every day. Amelia still has some doubts about the idea, but when Harry mentions that it means the world to him, she finally accepts. Then, Harry helps her onto the shelf and gazes at her for a while. He says this is a life many people can only dream of. After he leaves to prepare breakfast, Amelia, now on the shelf, starts to contemplate whether she's made the right choice. A few days later, the couple finally decides to get married. However, even on this special day, Amelia still sits on the rack. She's dressed in a beautiful outfit, and hundreds of the wealthy gaze at her beauty with awe. After the celebration, Harry climbs onto the shelf and the two make passionate love. This marks the start of their quite chaotic relationship. As time goes by, Amelia tries to keep herself busy on the rack. She reads magazines, puts on makeup, and even does basic exercises. She makes a lot of noise when exercising, which interrupts Henry's calls with clients. However, he doesn't get angry, but keeps a creepy smile and mentions these business calls actually disturbing him from seeing his beautiful wife. Henry continues to bring Amelia flowers, expensive jewelry, and chocolates, further pampering her. This couple seems to be the happiest ever, but soon the situation begins to deteriorate. Henry is getting tired of his wife, so he begins to pay less and less attention to her day by day. He no longer brings her gifts, and he gets angry when she makes noise exercising. Henry even doesn't want to chat with her anymore and constantly ignores her. Because of this, Amelia becomes an ornament in his room. Her dream of a fairy tale life is nearly shattered. With Henry now cold and distant to her, Amelia often tries initiating conversations with the housekeeper, but even the housekeeper is instructed to give no more response beyond hello and how are you. One day Amelia, desperate to make things right, dresses in her best clothes hoping to attract her husband back. However, to her dismay, Henry doesn't even glance at her. Instead, he complains about not getting enough sunlight, so he moves his desk to the other side. Now, Amelia can't even see her husband's face, and she breaks down in despair for the first time. Following this, the film fast-forwards three years. Amelia is still sitting on the rack. She's become a prisoner in her own home. At this point, she hasn't seen her husband for months, because Henry no longer dares to enter the room. Amelia hopes and prays that he would change his attitude and treat her like a princess again, but he gradually leaves her life. Therefore, one day, fed up with her predicament, Amelia finally decides to get down from the shelf. However, this isn't an easy task, as after so many years living on the shelf, her physical and mental state are very weak. When Amelia looks down, she perceives a vast height between herself and the floor, but in reality, it's only a few feet. 
Despite this, she is determined to end her nightmare once and for all. Initially, she drops a shoe down to check how long it takes to hit the floor. However, her brain once again gives her the wrong calculation, scaring her. Subsequently, Amelia drops her second shoe, but the result is no different. The risk is greater than the reward, but she doesn't want to rot in this state forever. So, Amelia decides to give it a try. She slowly climbs down from the shelf at one point, even hanging precariously onto one of the wall shelf. However, when she can no longer hold on, she falls. To Amelia, it seems like a horrifying event of falling from thousands of meters in the air, but when she hits the ground, she is left unharmed. In this way, Amelia has finally touched the ground after years of being on the shelf. Because her atrophied legs are not used to walking, she manages to stand up. She heads out and feels the cool breeze, making her overjoyed. Amelia does all sorts of things that children would do. She dips her legs in the swimming pool, throws a bunch of tennis balls on the ground, and then dances around the house. Afterwards, she puts on shoes and catches a mail truck. When Amelia arrives in the city, she is surprised to see this rapidly developing society. The years of confinement have affected her mindset, but now she is a bird set free. Amelia dances on the busy streets, glad to be a part of society again. She hugs the mail truck that brought her here, chats with strangers, and even rides around the city on a random man's motorcycle. Soon, Amelia arrives at the beach area, where she continues her childish behavior. She dances with a stranger, tears off a man's parking ticket, chases dogs, and even interrupts a yoga class. Later, she heads to the beach, a place she loved before she became a trophy on the wall. There, seeing her dance, some random people suddenly join in her Bollywood style, having a great time. Then, Amelia jumps into the sea and begins to swim like a fish. She is having the time of her life with no worries in mind. However, reality soon hits her in the form of a huge wave. When Amelia, completely soaked, walks out of the sea, she starts to shiver from the cold. She approaches several strangers for a towel, but this time they are not in the mood to entertain her. A dejected Amelia wanders around the town until she stumbles upon a cosmetic shop. Inside, she notices some women with beautiful makeup and compares it to her face, which is a mess from dirt and washed-off mascara. Amelia feels bad about her state, so she ventures into the shop and uses the free samples to clean her face. A few minutes later, she's back to her beautiful self, which makes her feel confident. As Amelia prepares to leave, one of the shop assistants, Jordan, approaches her and curiously asks if she is a makeup artist. Jordan is amazed that she could put on such beautiful makeup so quickly. However, Amelia reveals that she is actually a trophy on the wall, her only job being to please a wealthy millionaire. Jordan is a bit surprised by this strange occupation, but she doesn't judge Amelia for it. Instead, she mentions that if one is satisfied with their work, no matter how humble or insignificant, life is beautiful. Amelia responds, echoing the words of her late mother, who always prioritized beauty over intelligence. However, Jordan corrects her, saying she can have both beauty and intelligence. Hearing this, Amelia's memory of the world changes instantly. The first thing she does is go home and destroy the shelf that has held her hostage for these years. Now, she's free not only physically, but also mentally. Then the movie jumps to a year in the future. Amelia uses her beauty and intelligence to open her own cosmetic shop, which she names Amelia. It is a huge success, with hundreds of people lining up on the street to see her model products. Surprisingly, in the shop, Amelia is once again sitting on the shelf. Above her head is a neon sign that reads, Let Everyone Look. Amelia wants everyone to notice her beauty and intelligence, with the help of which she's become a successful businesswoman. She takes pride in finally achieving something praiseworthy in life. However, when the clients come into her store, they don't engage in conversation. They simply say hi or hello, just like her former housekeeper did. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like. It really helps the channel out. Thank you for watching.